Hey, Bart Miller here with Cycling Strong 2014, and we happen to find GoPro. Can you imagine that here at the show? Super cool. Caught up to Chris. We want to show you a few things that I think you'll really, really like. So they've got some new items out to be able to film with and use while you're out there playing around. Now, for us, we're always trying to catch some really cool things on rides and you know get different looks on stuff so that the videos turn out really well. Most of you comment on there, how do you get your videos to look so nice? Well, it's because, first of all, we really look for the right cameras, which we always use GoPros at this point in time, love them, and they work really well for small areas, tight things that we're trying to do. So we're trying to get a gear shot, or we're trying to get uh, braking shots, or we're trying to do stuff like that. That's the camera to go to. Um, so we wanted to come show you this kind of stuff. Chris said he'd do that for us. So Absolutely. Chris, walk us through some of these new cool technical products that you have to be able to get these shots that they want. Absolutely. First of all, you know, people are generally familiar with, you know, the helmet yeah. mount, you know, maybe the chest mount, handlebar mount, those Absolutely. kind of things. But we're not, you're not limited to those angles. Like you said, there's a lot of dynamic shots that you can get. Yeah. And some of them aren't necessarily on the person or the bike itself. Absolutely. Um, for us, brand new mount right now is called three-way. We're trying to, I, I don't think we're trying, I think <laughs> we're nailing it. Uh, this is an option for when you can be hands-free, maybe it's in the pack, yep. uh, depending on what you're doing uh, on the bike. Uh, this is something that you can pull out, use as a, as a handle. You can break it out, get that great selfie shot with you. Maybe it's the Peloton, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, for sure. And with the hinge design, you can actually keep the, the mount itself out of the shot, and you don't have that straight pull, right. uh, you know, that inherently ends up in your right, in your shot. capture. So and then beyond that, which is I'm really excited about, say that's not what you uh, what you need. Maybe you're in a, a section of the track on single track and you're coming down a uh, switchback and there's this great, great shot and you're willing to hike it a couple times yeah. to get a cool shot. You pull out your uh, your tripod mount, get yourself set up get this mounted and have you ready to go and get that shot, have it on time lapse and have yeah. it popping shots as you yeah. make the turn or maybe you're taking shots of your buddies. As well, if it's too high of a shot and you want a, a nice low angle, you can pop this off and you've got a nice uh, low drop cam yeah. angle. Nice. Uh, beyond that, uh, you know, there's, the angles are only limited to the uh, imagination of the rider, right? Yeah, yeah. So with that in mind, the imagination sometimes goes to man's best friend. Amen. And we're pretty excited about the new fetch mount. Uh, Rover here uh, is equipped with uh, GoPro's fetch. Everyone loves their dog, yep. uh, much more than their bikes, strangely enough. And uh, now you can get the angle of, of Rover, your best buddy, um, either from below when he's, uh, you know, having a social interaction with the other dogs at yep. the park and yep. maybe he's out for a big run and uh, you can get it from up high and get his perspective. Uh, we're pretty excited about this. It'll fit anything from uh, about a 15 pound small dog all the way up to your, your big full size uh, Labrador, Golden Retriever, whatever it is that's, uh, that's keeping you happy. Uh, the fetch mount will, will do the trick. Yeah, so that mount's really cool for a couple things in our world, not just in cycling, but I've got a lot of buddies that do a lot of hunting films, and so when you're doing bird hunts, one of the number one things, it's really hard to be out there, but a dog lays right next to your, your uh, blind, they can have a GoPro on there watching the entire thing happen as you pop out of the blinds. So that's gonna be really cool for that. Also, we got a lot of guys that they, they do bear hunts and they'll be able to mount that on there when the dogs are actually chasing the bear itself to tree it, they'll be able to get all that footage now without putting themselves in the, should I say that? The dog's more in danger than they are. I don't know if I wanna say that, but <laughs> but the dog's in more of the danger than, than the bear. They'll be able to get those shots. So I see a lot of really cool stuff there, but. Also on the bike, it's super fun. A lot of people have their dog running by the side of them, you know, or their whatever, and you can get some neat shots that you just do not get. So I think that's super, super cool, super innovative, and it just shows, just like the footage GoPro puts out there, they're always thinking outside the box and how to make you capture those moments that you've always wanted and to be able to share them with the world on social media or whatever it may be. So great job on that. Thank you for taking some time, Chris, Absolutely. with us. And uh, if you have any questions about GoPro or how to use something or you're looking for something, make sure you comment below. These guys, we're going to give them the link to this. They'll answer your questions. Absolutely. And uh, subscribe to the channel. 
and we love you having part of the community. So keep out there. Most of all, get on your bike and go for a ride. We'll talk to you soon.